Hello guys, so in this video we will see how can we use field maps to collect the data in the field. So first of all, when you download the field maps for the first time, when you open it, it will ask you if you want to log in with your uh, ArcGIS online account or ArcGIS Enterprise, which is your portal access. So on ArcGIS online, you cannot log in to field maps using ArcGIS online public account. You must have an organization account in order to log into your field maps. So to log in using our organization account, I will go to ArcGIS organization URL and here I will enter my organization name ArcGIS Mastery and I will say remember this URL. I'll continue and after entering your username and password you will sign into your account and once you sign in, you will see all the maps that we created for uh, the collector that we discussed in the previous section for the collector app. So here we have the inspection map, we have the repair map, online and offline, and we have uh, the verify map. So these three maps we use to collect the data. We also can see down here with the groups that we have in our organization. So uh, if you watch the videos for the collector, you will see that we created groups so we can differentiate between which group can see which maps. So here we have the inspection group, here we have the repair group, and we have the verify group. So we will start by collecting data for uh, the inspection. So what we will do, we will go to the inspection map and tap on the map and then we will start to collect the data we will collect a point and a polygon and a line so in order to add uh, any features using the field maps you need to click on the plus sign down here and then you need to choose which layer you want to add features to if you choose the poles this is the point feature if you choose the lines it will be the lines feature or the area it will be a polygon feature so first of all we will choose the poles so we can add a point feature so when we tap on electric poles, it will show us our location on the map and then it will show where we need our point to be. So you can choose to add this point where your GPS location is and your GPS location will always show a blue dot as you see right here. Or you can actually tap on your map and scroll and tap on your map and actually navigate anywhere if you want to put your point anywhere else other than your GPS location. So for example, I'm going to add this point right here and I will tap on update point down here so I can update the location. And this symbology for the point is already predefined in the web app before uh, I open field maps. So you can change the symbology to look however you want, but you need to configure it from the web map because field maps inherits the configuration and the settings you configured the web map or the layers on the web map. Uh, before you use it on field maps. So after you update the point or the location of the point, you can add attachments, you can add a photo, you can add a photo your, from your photo library, or you can take a picture. Also you can add attachments like add uh, record video or record uh, an audio if you want to like add any audio, maybe you want to add some uh, notes using your voice, you want to mention something and you want to make sure that you record that so you can do this right here. And uh, so for right now I will check. So right now I will choose take a photo so we can simulate taking a photo and this is a photo for my desk so I'm gonna take the photo and I'm gonna say use this photo down here and now I have my photo taken as you remember we created and configured the web maps and the feature layer to have uh, pole types and wire types and repair status and these are domain types so for the first one I will say this is a wood type the second wire type it will be a medium voltage and the repair status will be repaired and here entered by is a free text so anyone can enter the name so I'm gonna enter inspector and say next and here the entry date was today date at that time so I'm just gonna keep it the way it is and I'm gonna say okay entry notes there is a problem here need to be fixed just any notes you want to add you have up to thousand characters and this is the way we configured our feature and our fields uh, on the web app and on the feature layer before we publish it and make it available on field maps so now I entered all the information I need for this feature uh, I know where my point is I can update the point anytime before I submit it now I have everything ready to be submitted so once I submit 
everything will be submitted to the database and it will be saved to my feature layer and if anyone opened this specific layer on the web map they will see the location for the point and they will be able to see all the information that I submitted uh, and the attributes I submitted for this point. So now we will do the same for the line and the polygon just to see how can we collect the data for the lines and the polygons same thing as we did for the points. So here I will tap again on the plus sign down here and this time I will choose the electric lines and for the lines you just add a point and then you move the map or you can walk and then it will record the next point uh, once you tap at another point so for example if I know that my line is uh, in this area here and I'm gonna start from this point uh, my GPS location can be here uh, or I can like pan the map and just add the point anywhere I want so here I'm going to tap at point and I'm gonna move my map as you see here it shows me how my line will look like and I can add another point anywhere I want I can move again and add another point and I can keep doing this for as long as I want I can add as many points as I want and every time I walk in the field it will show me my GPS location as the next point so I can keep walking on the field and add points and it will add points for my line and as you see here's my line I don't need to add any more points and that's it for the line then we can take another photo use this photo and here we will say the pole type is a steel wire type is high voltage repair status need repair and entered by inspector today date and entry notes needs repair and tap done and I will submit it so now I submitted another feature that there's an issue in this area I exactly located where the issue is and now it shows on the map and then when the repair team open the map they will be able to see all these points that need to be repaired including the lines as well so the last feature we will add is a polygon so we will tap again on the plus sign and this time we will add area but make sure if you want your polygon to be anywhere else make sure you locate the first point for uh, your polygon before you start adding the polygon so for example I know my polygon will be like this area right here like this uh, block here will be my polygon that needs repair so I'm not going to uh, select area unless I make sure that I put my location as the first point for the polygon so I'm gonna put my location here and then add, say I want to start to collect area starting from the point where I am right now and when you move or walk or like uh, tap on your map and move your map you will see that you start to draw in the line same as we did with the lines but actually the first point will always be the last point so it can close the polygon for you so here I'm gonna add another point I'm gonna move again add another point and move all the way up to finish my polygon and add another point here so now I have my polygon is done I'm gonna take another photo and take a photo here I'm gonna use this one and the pole type this time will be wood wire type low voltage repair status need repair entered by inspector and today date and time and then entry notes this area needs repair done and submit so one of the things if you notice that after I submitted the point it was not shown on the map I can see only the lines and the polygons but I cannot see the point that I entered here and that because I chose the repair status to be something else other than repair so now I have entered all the features that I need my repair team to see on their map and they will be able to go navigate to this location and repair these features. So after that the inspector team will go and inspect these features. And just to show this, uh, and just to show you how to do that, you will go back to the maps. So now the repair team, when they open the repair map, they will be able to see these features that I just submitted 
and now I can see here that I have two places that I need to fix. I need to go and repair the line and I need to go and repair this area. So the way the repair team do this after they go to the location of this feature, they tap on the feature and all what they need to do is to update the feature. They don't need to add a new feature. They just need to update the feature after they repair it. So they can come here and update any of this information by tapping on the uh, pencil down here to edit this feature. And they can update the repair status to be this one have been repaired. They can take another photo for the repair they have done. And then they use this photo. And they can say who repaired it. So here I'm going to say repair team. Repaired this one next. To, and repair date is today date. And as you see here, we don't have as many attributes as we have in the inspector map because we configured the maps to show specific fields to be editable and show which fields the user can edit from the web map. So again, make sure to watch the videos on the collector so you understand how we configured this layers and how we configured this maps to work uh, based on which user and which group is using uh, the field maps app. And here the repair notes is like all good and repaired. Just any kind of information or general notes you want to add they can add attachments they can update the feature uh, however they want here they can also update the location of the feature so for example if uh, the inspector team located this polygon and then when I as a repair team I went to repair it it was a different polygon like uh, there was a bigger area to fix it so I can just come here and update this one. I say, here's my polygon. Actually, this is actually the area we fixed. It was bigger than initially uh, recorded. It was bigger than it was initially reported. So I updated the location and I will tab submit all the way up here. So I update my feature. So now we have uh, like field users that submitted the location for the field. They submit that this area need to be repaired. Uh, the repair team went to repair it. And after they finished repairing it, as you see, the polygon disappeared because the next step will be for the verify team to go and verify this repair. So as a verify member in the field, I will open my verify map and I will see which features need to be verified. The only features I will see is the ones that have been repaired so I can go and verify this repair. So here I'm seeing this polygon that was repaired uh, earlier and all what I need to do is just tap on the polygon make sure I go there and verify the repairs and then again I will tap on the pencil so I can update the status I can take another photo so I can say oh this have been verified and I'll change the status to verified and this will be the last step for this uh, issue or this uh, fix that need to be verified verified by verify team and here, the verify date is today, date and time. Verify notes, all been verified. And now I'm going to submit. So as you see, uh, this is the process and this is the workflow to update these features. And as you see also, we have the color changes based on the repair status. When it was a new uh, inspection, it was red when it was uh, repaired it was blue after it, it was verified it turned to green and uh, now we can and now we finished the whole workflow for the inspection repair and verify for the field the same thing apply for points polygons online and any features and this is how you can collect and update your features using field maps same exact thing as we did with the collector app so that's it for collecting data using the field maps it's it's very simple and very straightforward and there is no difference between how to do it on field maps and how to do it on the collector app so that's it for this video and if you have any questions please let me know and we'll see you in the next video thanks